Hi everybody, you're back again and we're back with Sinead O'Connor's Silent Night. I couldn't go into 2022 without bringing forth a song from way back and I think it's in its 90s that this particular song came from I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, her 1990 album and it was song 14 of that. Most people know the Emperor's Last Clothes from that and What Do You Want and Mind Games. Some of the songs from an epic album that honestly, if you want to reflect on an album and go back into your youth, I'm talking to the mature people here. I do not want what I haven't got from Sinead O'Connor is an album to savour. It's just so incredible. I played many songs myself privately, but then I saw this particular one and said this would be perfect for my Christmas week songs and bring forth an artist that has been very well known for ripping up a photograph of Pope John Paul II on Saturday Night Live way back in 1992 when singing the world evil a remonstrance against the Vatican's handling of sexual abuse allegations and also when it came to nothing compares to you that famous song and O'Connor said that she cut her hair off in response to a male record executives who had been trying to goad her into wearing miniskirts and into appearing more traditionally feminine. She'd grown up believing that it was treacherous to be a woman, she said. To be recognized as beautiful was only ever a liability. I always had the sense that it was quite important to protect myself, make myself as unattractive as I possibly could. But unfortunately for Sinead, it became iconic, that hairstyle, and so did those beautiful eyes and facial expressions when she sang the song. And she turned a Prince song into her own, because that is the type of performer and artist she was then, and she still is now when she performs. I think the last time I had seen her was on an Irish show called The Late Late Show here, that's been going on for, it's so iconic, every Friday night and sometimes Saturday night, depending on the schedule, where Sinead just sang, and she sang in Irish. And it was so, it's, it's a reaction I've got to do for January, I have to. I have to bring it back again in January and let the world hear how the Irish language can be sung so beautifully. I'm no better person than Sinead, I feel. But we're talking about silent night it's only a few lyrics but we're going to discuss the lyrics because like most christmas songs we don't know what the lyrics really mean what they entail for us and after a pandemic year i feel this is quintessentially what we need to get us into the christmas into the new year smoothly and bring us out into hopefully what's going to be a wonderful year for the world and all of us we are still in the fortuitous position here in Ireland of having lockdown lifted and people freely can shop and do and have coffees and go to the bars and do many other wonderful things that we once all took for granted. But now we're savoring the moments when we have them. Silent Night, Sinead O'Connor, take it away. Let's enjoy the wonderful vocals and the liquid gold prowess voice that is the Irish sensation and always will be Sinead O'Connor. Oh uh -huh. 
Sinead, that has to be in my own personal opinion, opinion, the best version of that particular song. Your voice is essentially angelic. It's pure. Its delivery was effortless. But it was Sinead at her very, very best. And as I said, everybody, if you wanted to go back onto an album, I do not want what I haven't got by Sinead O'Connor. I would highly, highly recommend it. We're going to go into the lyrics because it's a song that we all know. But when we break down the lyrics, not many people have analysed the lyrics of this wonderful song. So I'm going to give you my interpretation of it. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. We see all is bright. Round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, we say, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. If I was to be honest, I would give this and dedicate this song and hand this song over to all the families that's been affected by the pandemic through the death of a loved one. For two years, the world has gone into mourning of something that has gripped us, frightened us, made us feel isolated, vulnerable, and scared of, of what the future holds. And a lot of countries are still in, in that position. In Australia particularly, they're fighting the new variant that's apparently spreading so fast even in England so there are many strains and var variations of this pandemic and we as a people can't lose faith we ought never to lose faith but to those that have lost their lives I do wish that you sleep in heavenly peace I do send love and peace to all the families affected that this Christmas they're not really celebrating they're still mourning the loss of a loved one it continues silent night holy night shepherds first saw the sight glorious streaming from heaven afar heavenly hosts sing alleluia Christ the Saviour is born Christ the Saviour is born this song to me is not about what religion you are. It's about restoring your faith. It's about having something that we have all grown up with, been surrounded with, been affected by, been in touch with. And they say many of the wars in the world are caused by religion. But that is not so. We all know that. People use that, I think, as a frivolous, hallow, and it's just a, 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 a horrendous thing to say because at the end of the day we all praise the one God we all look towards in prayer the one God to absolve us to help us to guide us to bring us inner peace and many many people who say they are atheists have turned to prayer in times of trouble and strife for enlightenment and we're all the same and it all leads directly right up to the one God our Saviour Jesus Christ and I'm not the most religious person I have a deep I would say Buddhism faith but I was reared in the Catholic household and I have an appreciation of everybody who has a faith and those that don't I do not judge but whether we like it or not when we sleep in heavenly peace our spirits all ascend to the one place and that for me is the presence of God in heaven most of you might say prayers haven't been answered a lot of you might say faith is a shambolic thing to be involved with but it depends 
what we're talking about here. For me, it's about spirituality. It's about connection. It's about finding that light in a very dark room that becomes brighter as you move towards it. And during a very, very turbulent two years, I think this is a beautiful song to dedicate to all of you out there that's listening. It says at the very last, silent night, holy night, all is calm. We see all in bright. In other words, when we are in a dark place, looking for the light, looking to move towards the light, there's only one way forward. And that is to believe in yourself that you will, believe that things will turn around for the better because in life they always do we have our good times we have our bad times we have our sad times we have many many different emotional aspects to our lives all of us do but to move forward is about persistence it's about inner faith and whether that is to a god or to through prayer, through your religion, it doesn't matter. We all still strive to find a bright light in our lives. And for this, this Christmas 2021, going into 2022, I wish every single body out there a very peaceful, a very loving, a very happy Christmas to each and every one of you. 2022, Let's all hope that we're in for the start of something wonderful. Because believe it or not in this world, we are living in a time where people have, where more people have roofs over their head, food in their belly, and are doing really, really well. And we never talk about that, but we're living in prosperous times like never before. The pandemic has slowed that down, but it hasn't eradicated it, our dreams, our hopes, our futures. Let us, through whatever way we walk towards the light, continue to walk towards the light of happiness that will give us peace of mind, good health for all of us. Let's walk towards that. For 2022 as one thank you for listening if you like please comment like and tell me your favorite christmas song but i look forward to seeing you all in january again it's been a wonderful year of subscribers coming to my channel and the channel growing and growing my target was 3,000 subscribers i started at 85 in january 2021 and i've achieved my target so God bless you all. May it always, always continue to grow and grow and grow.